Hey, this is Paul Guyad with the Flatiron School. I am a software engineering instructor, and this is my phase one project. As you can see, I have a cocktail app where users can search for their favorite cocktails and add them to their drink list. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna search margarita. This data is coming in from an external API called Cocktail DB. And there are many different kinds of margaritas, as we can see, and we can add them to our list. So I'm going to add the strawberry margarita to my list. And it creates a nice card over here with the name of the cocktail, the ingredients, and also the instructions on how to make it. All of this data, again, is coming from the external API. I can add likes. So I'm going to add a like for this drink. And I can also delete this entire card. I alternatively, I can add a drink myself and it'll populate its own card. Um, in, in the next version of this app, I would like to allow the user to fill out a form with ingredients and instructions so I can have a similar card to the ones coming from the external API. Again, I can add likes and I can delete it. These drinks will persist on my drinks list. So that means if I refresh the page, they will still be here. And indeed, they are both still here with the same amount of likes. I can search for another type of cocktail. Rum brings up a lot of results and I'm gonna add rum screwdriver. You can see ingredients again, light rum and orange juice and instructions on how to make the rum screwdriver. We can add likes and we can delete the card. So let's go ahead and delete to show that the delete functionality works and it does. Let's just add rum punch, many ingredients and a simple uh, process. So this is a really nice app for people who wanna, you know, maybe get into bartending or people who just wanna make, you know, uh, fun drinks at home. So I hope you enjoyed my presentation and I will see you later.